Hello guys and welcome back or welcome here if you are new. My name is Amy. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I have been reading lately. Now, the majority of these books will be Christmas related because, well, you know, we've just come off of the holidays, but hey, we all know Christmas will be just around the corner again this year. And so maybe this will give you some book recommendations yeah for the upcoming holidays i do have one book that is not christmas related all right so with that being said let's just go ahead and get right on into it okay so the first book that i'm going to talk about is actually the one book that is not christmas related and that is redeeming love by francine rivers for those of you who have not heard i am co-hosting a read-along with oshina from oshina's a god to read them all and we are reading francine rivers redeeming love now for me, this is my first time ever reading this book and I know many of you have already read it and I know that a lot of you guys have commented that you are so ready to reread it again. Wow, this book so far, it's a doozy. It's pretty intense, I mean, from the very start, from the prologue. I mean, what was that, like 40 something pages from the get go of just like background, you know, on Angel and everything. So yes, very intense. But so far, I'm really liking it. It is emotional. It is raw. But it's, wow. It's, it's pretty dynamic. So I'm hoping to finish this book probably some either this weekend or sometime uh, next week. I cannot believe that the live show with Oshina is coming up very soon. That is January 23rd. So you guys, be on the lookout for that. So I'm just going to dive right into the next books. So we have Catching Christmas by Terry Blackstock. I have mentioned this book before and I know a lot of us have read this, but it's worth mentioning again for those of you who maybe haven't heard of it. And I would definitely say this is a good book to read around the holidays. You have a grumpy character, Finn. And what I like about Finn is even though he is grumpy, he does he does have a good heart. And uh, it just takes a little bit to kind of pull him out of that. The story is about Finn. He is a cab driver and there is an elderly lady who has some illnesses and he is needing to give her a ride. Her granddaughter sets it up because she's very busy. And anyways, the story is about those three characters. I'm sure that you guys have heard about this before. Okay guys, this was my favorite book of the season and that is The White Christmas Inn. I enjoyed reading this book from the very first page to the very last page. So this book captured my attention just from the very from the very beginning the way that it described the scenery the surroundings just everything about it was just cozy and christmasy in the snow and like i mentioned this before this book does bring out some nostalgic feelings for me my husband joe is from vermont and so as they're describing some of these things i'm like yes i know exactly what you're talking about i've been in that deep snow i love it it's so beautiful it is really cold and I wouldn't necessarily want to live there, but it's really beautiful to look at. But yes, this book describes scenery really, really well. If you're a foodie, it definitely describes some yummy foods. But the basis of the story is there is an inn. The innkeepers are married and they have owned this inn for about 10 years. And they're thinking it's going to be their last Christmas there. So basically there is like a new resort that has come to town since they've owned this inn and a lot of their business has gone there. But this Christmas there is a snowstorm and the roads are blocked and people, families cannot get there. So instead, where do they end up? They end up at the White Christmas Inn, which is actually called the Evergreen Inn. Many different people, many families, there's a lot of situations going on. It follows each and every one and um, even down to the innkeepers. So this is a very good heartfelt, heartwarming Christmas nostalgic book. Definitely a five star read for me. Next, I was so excited to read another installment of the Misty River Romance by Becky Wade. She's got two out so far, which are Stay With Me and Let It Be Me. And this is just a short Christmas novella. And this is You and Me. And so this does not follow any of like the main characters. But these are just like some side characters in the story. So it was fun to read about that. You guys, this book is really good. Her romances can be a little more steamy. It doesn't cross any lines because it is Christian fiction. Like the kissing scenes, you know, they can be passionate. But what I liked about this romance is because it is a 
holiday Christmas book. She did not go overboard with that because at the same time that there is a romance going on, you also have a family story in the background and you do have like a live nativity that's going to be going on. So because this book is focused around Christmas, I think she definitely toned down like the romance part of it, but it was still such a very sweet story. I appreciated it so much and it was really fun to hear more about Misty River, about the town. I didn't even think this would come out in paperback. I thought it would just be like a Kindle read or something, but yeah, it's on paperback and I own it. So I love that I can add this to my collection. Let me just back up just a little bit. When I'm talking about like steamy, I'm not saying that she writes anything inappropriate. She does not cross any lines at all. But I know that some people who do like to read Christian fiction, maybe they just want to tone it down just a little bit. I don't mind, you know, some passion. Passion is real and passion is part of life. Another book that I read was A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. Now this is only the first book from Courtney Walsh that I have read all the way through. I did try to read one of her books, Paper Hearts, but I just was not into the characters at all. So I DNF'd that book, but because this one had a gorgeous cover and I was hearing all about it and the story just sounded fun. So basically you have Lauren, she lives in California, her brother and her sister-in-law live in Illinois. She hasn't been home for Christmas in like several years but her brother and his wife are expecting a baby. And so they're like, please Lauren, come visit us for Christmas. Well, there's a lot of reasons why she doesn't want to do that. There's a lot of family history there and it's, it's not good. But she decides to go ahead and go this Christmas. She doesn't like to fly. That's one transportation mode that was already gone. She was going to take a train, but that didn't work out. And her brother said, well, you know what? I have set up a ride for you. And it is his best friend. Her, his best friend was like her, her crush for years and years and years. But something happened between them, and you'll find out later in the story, that made her just totally hate him. And so she just remembers like the bad parts of him. But now it's years later, and her brother is trying to convince her that he's a changed man. And so she ends up reluctantly accepting his ride. She's so rude to him, you guys. His name is Will. And she treats him so bad. And she does, of course, soften up as they go on this road trip from California to Illinois. He has other motives with this road trip. There are certain things that he wants to do. And he has stops planned out along the way that she didn't know from the get-go. But like I said, she does warm up as they go. So it was a really cute story. There was some scenes in here that just, oh man, like one stop they made in this Christmas town and they went uh, snow tubing and it was just so cute and they drank hot cocoa and walked the streets and it just sounded straight out of a Hallmark movie. Now I will tell you that I went into reading this book thinking it was Christian fiction. I wouldn't say that it is. If I was going into this book thinking that it was not Christian fiction, some of the comments, some of the thoughts that were happening, you know, I would have been more prepared for. So basically there's a couple scenes that just get really close to crossing a line. There's one where they have to share a hotel room and there's a, a part where he comes out in like a towel and there's just some thoughts in her head and just some things and I'm like, oh, that's really close. But overall, I did enjoy it. And to put it in perspective, I will give this a three star. Then I have a couple of honorable mentions because I did start reading these but did not finish them. I started reading this Colin Coble two book novella. I started reading A Silent Night first, but I quickly had to put it down because it just had some triggers for me. You have a woman and her husband who are going through infertility. And anytime there's anything like that, it's a trigger for me. Even though I, we are past the stage in our life, reading about it does bring up some raw memories for me. And it's really sad. Like, well, I wouldn't say it's sad, but you just don't forget, you don't forget like what you went through. And um, I myself have had a couple miscarriages and you just don't forget because you know, you love your babies right away. But I say all that to say, I had to put that story down because of the triggers. And then I just never went into the second story. So I thought I would mention that. 
And then uh, lastly, I did start the Debbie McCumber's Kisses in the Snow. Again, this is two short stories. The first one is The Christmas Basket, and the second one is Let It Snow. So I did start reading this, but then I got sick. And when I'm sick, you guys, the last thing I want to do is read. Like when I'm sick and not feeling well, I don't want to do anything where I have to use like a lot of brain power, basically. I just want to lay down, either sleep or just like watch TV, YouTube, that sort of thing. And then I never picked it back up. I think it had the potential from the first few pages that I read to be probably a pretty good book. So maybe I will pick it up again later in this year as the holidays approach. Although it's still winter, so technically I could probably read it, who knows. All right guys, so that's pretty much what I've been reading lately. I pretty much read everything I wanted to for my Christmas TBR. I was really excited about that. But yeah, I think um, I read some pretty good stories, but my definitely my favorite one is The White Christmas Inn. It's so unfortunate that she doesn't have any other books. I cannot find any information about the author at all. All I pull up basically is that one book and it's such a shame because she's such a good writer. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, maybe I gave you some future book recommendations. All right, well thank you all so much for watching and I will see you real soon in my next video. Bye guys.